Hello and welcome back to Fantastic Fiber. Today I have just a, a I just want to show you what I'm making, what I have in the works because we are switching jobs. We are taking on a new company to see how that goes and we will be seeing more of the country as a result of it and more of the country means out longer. Out longer means I might run out of yarn so I'm, I need to bring in couple bags of old projects that and this is one of the things that I, I promised myself for every project that I start there's a few that I'm gonna have to finish before I can start a new project so last time I finished up three projects this time I am hoping to finish up three and finish one um, I did make this sweater this is um, last year's model we'll say I did this last year and um, it was my first time making a top-down sweater. I, I had never done it before, and I'll tell you what, it was actually pretty darn easy. Um, the sleeves got a little um, confusing at first, but, um, but you know, then it, it started to take shape and they came out cute. I wanted like a, a short sleeve type of sweater, so I went with this. Um, and yes, that is my size. It fits me quite nicely. Um, I finished my yarn room. I don't know if you've seen the mess that it was before. Oh my goodness, it was such a mess. Oh, oh, guys, I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> I, I woke up like this type of thing, yeah. I, I was so excited about showing you guys what I'm working on and telling you about the new job and the yarn room that I just said, screw it, I'll stay in my jammies. Why not? So yeah, back to the projects. Um, this first one, I, I showed you guys the yarn. We unboxed it together. I had to buy more. This uh, corner to corner, I made it a little bigger than I expected to, but I didn't want to make it any smaller either. So I'm glad that it's this size, but I had to order more yarn. But isn't that cute? This is just a regular plain quarter, corner to corner. Um, this section here is every other row is a uh, a color change and I literally just went 15 15 10 10 single 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 across there then it's going back to 10 pink 10 gray 15 pink 15 and that's how this one will end okay so that's my corner to corner and then I I don't know if you remember it but I did post this one when it was a little bit smaller. Um, this is one of Crystal Shawls from Bag o Day Crochet. And I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. So I decided to make one. And I am using a, um, let me pull. I am using one of those Hershner's Alpaca Mill Ends. Beautiful yarn, great to work with, easy. I mean, that shawl, I'm making it with this hook and the yarn, I had to frog a bit, so I don't mind the yarn vomit. Um, but this is this is a three, plain and easy. It's a, it's a DK. So nice big hook, works out great. The drape is beautiful. The color, I like the colors. They're, they're nice neutral earth tone colors. And then this one I started, oh my goodness, four years ago, I think. I started a baby blanket and I thought, well, it's kind of wide for how long it is. And yeah, th those are shells. Um, it's just a shell stitch. But so I had one more ball of the yarn and I thought to myself, instead of making two baby baby blankets, why not make like a kid's blanket or, you know, like a sh shorter throw or something, you know, like, so I'm sure it would be able to, I'm only 5'4", so I'm sure it would be able to cover my feet and up to my shoulders by the time I'm done. So we'll see exactly how big that gets um, in the coming weeks. And then my main project, the one that I have to work on and finish, is <clears throat> my uncle's blanket. I am making him a cowboy's blanket, as he, as he requested. I'm using Premier Yarns, Premier Basics. So I've got their navy, and I've got the, uh, the light gray. Premier Basics and white. And when you do a corner to corner, or when you do not a corner to corner, when you do a gaffgan, um, it's good to cake up a couple rolls so that you have 
um, multiple worlds to pull from, but not as much yarn as you would need if you were just going straight across, straight across, and you know, building a whole blanket that way. Um, you really don't need. So, oh, <laughs> I went 20 rows deep on his blanket, by the way, and then recounted the stitching, and it was off. I had to pull 20 rows out. And this, <laughs> this is all I've got done so far. So that one is going to be my big project, my main project. And hopefully the only thing that I want to work on until all of this is done. Because it's important that it's done fast. To me anyway. Yeah, to me it's important. So I think that's everything I have for you. Oh, and guys, if you're interested, tell me if you like this. Because my mom makes these, and she does such a cute job. I don't know if you can see that through the light on the camera, but I'm going to turn it around. And you can see that there are little lights in there blinking. You can have them blink. You can have them go slower or stay steady or turn off. And there's like gold. I don't know how well you can see this. But there's gold in there and this one's a Tweety Bird one. This is one of my gnomes. She does all kinds of them including sports fans. So this is my husband's gnome. I have an Eagles gnome and together we just agree to like each other's teams until they play each other. <laughs> um, but yeah so that's a little bit of a I guess a fun fact about us and uh, I'm gonna end it here because I am out of things to say so drop me a comment below goodbye everybody and you have a fantastic day